host controller so um, we just let me close this make controller use post controller and we save it in a folder called post so you do php access and make controller then the folder post and then slash post controller and then resource so you have it created so we should see it here all right yeah so before that let me add everything i've done just add So user controller, I did a user controller screen, so user controller. Alright, so everything is gone, so I can close this and go to post post controller. So these are post controller. So just like we did we did for user controller. So we copy for post controller. We don't have any posts yet, and we just change this to posts and we call in the post model or and we return post and this will change the post all right so we have post controller so if we go back to our post my and we go to post so slash post all right we should get oh shit so our route you've not built our routes yet sorry so we go to our api and similarly just like that we Post, post, and then we go post controller, and we just the same thing except for that. Then we go again. How long is this? Controller post not found. Uh, why? So we go to post. Yeah. Why is it not found? What's wrong? So we go to post controller. Oh, this is not found. So we use app backslash this. And we save. We come back again and then yeah. This is what we have. Post right. So we're gonna we don't need create. And we don't need edits. So you, you can show all the posts. You can save a post. I'm gonna copy the code right quickly. It's just like the how we did it for the users. Alright. This is it. So you pick our rules, the things that we want to validate. The title needs to be required, the subcontent is required, the content itself is required. That's all I need from post. And then you pass in the request, and I'm not data checking anything here, so I just create a post. So you save it, and let's see if you can create a post. So we go to other post, we go to body. <laughs> I've done a whole lot, so you can see I have a title, sub content, content, the user who created the post, the category ID, the views, and the image. So let's look at. Uh, migration for post all right so in post we have the user id which is unsigned and is there index and the content and we don't have an inalable um thing so views let me see views is zero so i'm going to make views nullable all right so i'm just going to make it nullable so that means we can we can choose to um we can choose to live it yeah we can choose to if we can we can choose to leave it empty we don't have to specify views for now yeah so views is empty uh, share is true do we have share okay default is true so since divorce is true, that's it. It should be true. 
and then an image image to we can make it nullable it can be empty for now right oh if i do this i have to migrate i have to like run migration to migrate the whole tables again no problem so we save it and we'll come back here and say php artisan migrate refresh so we refreshed it's like we refreshed all our tables all right mm -hmm. so so okay okay so we close this so we come back here let's see whether we have our stuff so we go to users and it's empty yeah so let's add a user real quick we have one user let's add an admin okay i'm just going to leave we have one user that's okay we don't need it let's go to add a post so we have the title how to set up just copy your name post title that you have anywhere you have the sub content you have the content itself so it's just the same that just copy um recopied it multiple times we have the user id i can just say one so here it won't it's not going to check all right we have the category id we have the view so let's let's leave the views out and let's see we have the cat category id you have the category id in the controller so we come in here we don't have the category id right so we don't have to add it yet here we'll come to that and we have the image which is not also okay, let's see all right so we have it we have it done so let's show the post and let's see what is the things that we left nullable let's see what is what is there all right so now to now all right so that is it so it's not yet set so we can leave it like that so <clears throat> our next thing we are going to do is Someone is calling me, I don't know, but I'll check up after the call. Yeah, so we are done with creating a post, right? So we're just going to do the rest. Show a single post, just like the other ones we did. So I'm just going to copy it. I wish, I just wish we are done with the back end so we can just, you know, do the fun stuff on the front end. Like, cool. I'll just try my best and be fast. All right, so we don't we are not we are not doing a relationship yet. So we're gonna take this with comments off. We'll come to that. I will explain that later on. So find or fail, blah blah. Return the post, simple as that. No problem. And then we are done, right? Yes, we are done. So let's show a single post. So obviously this is one. We have it, All right? So that is it so we go to update so we can update a post so probably like the what we just did so we come here we post it you know what i want to fix my indentation i'm using tabs no spaces so um update all right so we update a post so we find a fail we validate just a title we just validate the title i just the title needs to be a string as well this is not even necessary is it all right cool so we just update it anyhow you want it then we just save it so let's see the update work so update a post is put request you choose a post you want to update and the title send a request so we look at here the title here is how to set up live project clone from github all right and i'm updating it to send a request using javascript so i send it and let's see if it's changed good so it's changed so it's working and then let's do delete quickly we copy it and we paste so find or fail pose delete delete simple we save it we come here we just go to delete id is one slash id is one and then we go and it's deleted so we can copy the Delete a response from here. Status. Yeah, I'm that lazy, right? Status. Post deleted. Right. So it's already deleted, so we're not going to get it. So yeah, we have to do some error handling stuff, but 
we are not going deep to that part you know <laughs> yeah so post controller is done so in the next video we look at how we can do for um, categories and then we look at building a relationship building a resource relationship um, controllers all right so i'll catch you in the next video